Hello, in this video I'm going to explain to you how to prepare your spreadsheet to create a linear regression on returns of your stock compared to the entire market. So what I'm going to do here is to define this equation, that's a linear regression that represents the monthly returns, why is the monthly returns of IBM, how the monthly returns i of IBM are related to the monthly returns of S&P 500, that's X. So Y is the dependent variable, that's what, what we want to measure, and X is the independent variable on this linear regression. Okay, so we are going to use the past 36 months of returns for S&P, and here I'm going to add my stock IBM so you have to choose one of your stocks okay to create this linear regression so the first thing is let's to look for the monthly returns of IBM in the past three years so I have to go to Yahoo Finance so you open yahoo.com on finance, click your stock symbol, in my case is IBM, go to historical, uh, historical price, define for March 2010 to the current data. In a monthly base, click on monthly, get your price. Now I'm going to download the price to a Excel spreadsheet because I want to capture the IBM price from here. So I go to the column of close price. So I define this column. I copy, copy this price of IBM and I paste here okay I'm going to do the same for come back to Yahoo Finance to S&P so in Yahoo the symbol is zero hat GSPC for S&P 500 okay I click on this Go to historical price 2010 March monthly get price download. I click to download to spreadsheet to an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, I do the same manipulation as well. Define the close price of S&P, copy, go back to my spreadsheet, paste. Now I have all price of S&P. Let's see, okay. S&P IBM. So in these two columns, I have a monthly stock price. And in these two column, columns, we have all returns already calculated. See, the formulas are already defined to facilitate, facilitate your work. So you can see all returns of S&P in the past month returned 3.18% compared to 5% of IBM and the previous month 1.11 compared to minus 110. So what I want to do is to see how the returns of IBM okay, are related to the returns of S&P. This is what this linear regression is going to tell us. Okay, so linear regression is a very powerful tool to predict potential returns of a stock compared to the entire market. So when I now I need just to Here I have the bet of IBM, 0.6449, what makes sense is below 
the SMP, which spec is equal one. And which makes sense because IBM is a blue chip stock, which has usually a beta below one or below the average of market. Alpha of IBM is 0009. What alpha means? Alpha means that when the S&P return is equal to zero, okay, IBM is returning 0 0.9. Okay, this is equals is the same uh, as 0 0.9 percent. 0 0.9 percent. When S&P is equal to zero, IBM returns 0 0.9 percent. Is what alpha represents. So let's see now what happens with the stock chart. So here we have, a, we have our regression. The returns of IBM that explained by the y-axis and return of S&P which is the x-axis. So for example here when the market when the S&P returns 10.77 percent, IBM returns 5.58. Okay, we have different relationship here. When it goes close to zero, you see that when the market returns minus 0 0.23, IBM minus 0.49. So all data we had in this in this returns. Okay, now are plotted. In the shot, the other thing it's important to to see is the R square, or how the returns of S and P explains the return of IBM. So 0 0.45 or 45 percent of returns of IBM are explained by the returns of S and P 500. So it's a weak explanation, so we cannot, uh, a wise investor, a wise trader would use S&P as a partial information to explain the returns of IBM or to predict the future returns of IBM. So we would need to investigate which other factors, variables, could impact the, the, with the returns of IBM. So the S&P explained roughly 50%, um, half of the IBM returns. The other half we would need to investigate. Okay, that's the uh, linear regression to, to the relationship between IBM return and S&P 500. Okay, so that's all. Good work. See you next week. Bye bye.